Hey guys, in today's video you will see the full story called Kid Buu's brother, because Goku will show a transformation that no Saiyan in history has achieved. This transformation is known as the Perfect Uzaru. The union between the powers of angels with the powers of the Saiyan race, and Goku will use this power to defeat an unusual enemy, Kid Buu's brother, who will bring one of the greatest chaos the earth has ever seen, and you will get to see the full story now. So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me and of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Well without further ado, let's get started. During the Tournament of Power, Goku was the mortal who managed to awaken the power of Ultra Instinct during the fight against Jiren, the strongest mortal in the 11th universe. But because of his last battles, mainly against Gas, a very powerful enemy that made Goku control and master 100% of Ultra Instinct. But what Goku didn't know was that now, a great evil that was sealed would be awakened, and for Goku to defeat this new enemy he would have to overcome the Ultra Instinct limits. But Goku doesn't know that yet, because the new enemy that will appear is a member of the Majin race. It is a completely empty dimension that was possible to see a black star that had nothing but pure endless darkness. But in the center of that star there was a being of purple appearance that had its eyes closed, and it was possible to see several black chains trapping it, so that the same never left the place. But suddenly one of the chains ended up breaking and at that moment, the creature finally opened its eyes. And when that happened, the black star started to shake, and the chain started to break. The creature inside the star started to increase its key to a point, that the star could not stand it, and ended up being destroyed, thus making the creature free from its prison. The mysterious creature spoke. Finally, after hundreds of years, I finally freed myself from the cursed seal, said the creature already stretching. It had several unusual characteristics having three types of antennas on its head, and a small and pink body full of small holes. But the mysterious being spoke, Now I am finally free. I have to go after my dear brother, Kid Boo," said the purple being while concentrating and looking for his brother using his powers. Now in the seventh universe. Currently in universe seven, it was possible to see everyone leading their lives normally. In that Mr. Satan house, it was possible to see a fat and pink being lying on a bed sleeping. But suddenly he opened his eyes in fear and quickly gets up from his bed. Majin Buu was in a cold sweat as he tried to find some air as he was extremely panting. Majin Buu spoke, Looks like he's back! Majin Buu spoke while looking at the sky. In the Null Dimension, the mysterious being said, I found you, but you are not my brother, but that Kaioshin from the Seventh Universe. But even with him inside his body, Kid Buu should still be in control of the body. That or someone defeated my brother. But who would be strong enough to defeat him? Wondered the mysterious being. The mysterious being keeps asking himself, Well, I don't care who defeated you. I myself will go after my dear brother Kid Boo, and I will bring him back, since there is still a little bit of my brother's energy inside that body, and this is enough for me to revive him using my skills. But now I have to leave this place. Said the purple being before creating a key blade and making a cut in front of him. The blow was so strong that it ended up cutting the own fabric of reality, making a portal for him to leave that place. My dear brother, wait for me because I will bring you back, said the being before entering that pink portal. Now in Universe 7. Now on Earth it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta training together in hand-to-hand -hand combat, both in their divine forms. The two exchanged blows while flying, but soon the two stopped their fight when Majin Buu came flying at high speed in the direction of the Saiyans. Majin Buu spoke, Goku, Vegeta! We need to prepare now! There is an extremely powerful enemy that is coming to Earth! The pink being spoke very quickly, something that left Goku and Vegeta surprised. After a few minutes, everyone was in the Capsule Corporation room, where everyone was gathered, including Beerus and Whis who were already there eating. But because of all that shouting, they decided to go there to see what it was. Goku asks, Majin Buu, what you said is true? Asks the Saiyan to the pink-skinned Majin. Majin Buu replies, Yes, what I said is true and very serious. Buu spoke very seriously, something that left everyone very surprised because they already knew Majin Buu. He had never acted like that. Vegeta spoke, Who would this new enemy be? From the desperate way you said, we must be someone very strong. But Kakarot and I are currently so strong that we can reach the level of a god of destruction. So he would be someone very easy for us to defeat said the Prince of Saiyans to the Majin, who gave just a sigh before starting to speak. Majin Buu spoke. He is a being as strong as a god of destruction, and he is Kid Buu's older brother, and just like me, he is a demon with a force capable of destroying this entire universe alone, said Majin Buu leaving everyone in the place very surprised, and others shocked. Mr. Seton said, 
Kid Boo. But I thought that Babbity had created Kid Boo. How could he be so strong? Asked Mr. Satan. Majin Boo spoke. Babbity didn't create Kid Boo. He had already been created several years ago. But he was weak, so Babbity used his powers to control him, making him obey his orders. Explained Majin Boo to everyone. So Whis listened to all this and said, A being so strong that he is able to fight against a god of destruction in the seventh universe and belongs to the Majin race. I know some things about it. Ha 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 said the angel, attracting the attention of everyone in the place. Even Majin Buu paid attention to what he was going to say to everyone. Goku said, Do you know who he is, Mr. Whis? asked the Saiyan to the angel. Whis said, Well, hundreds of years ago my father discovered something that was very strange to him. He found a pink sphere that was present in the universe since its creation, and that was something that made him very surprised. So he left that one sphere grow until it became a demon with a gigantic power. So powerful when a god of destruction, he was so strong to the point of making my father fight seriously. When the angel said that, he left everyone in the place with their mouth open because of the surprise and the shock of hearing that. Vera spoke. A being so strong to the point of the high priest fighting seriously? Screamed the seventh universe god of destruction while looking at Whis. Vera's thought. If he's strong enough to make a high priest fight seriously, then he could easily face and kill all the gods of destruction together thought the god of destruction afraid of such a being. Whis said, If I remember correctly, he was called Akuma, an entity that was the representation of destruction, or that's how he presented himself to my father, but we all always thought he didn't exist anymore. I thought he was dead, said the angel to everyone in the place. Majin Buu said, I understood that the one that the high priest killed was Kid Buu's father, but Kid Buu and his brother called Akuma Buu were in a very isolated place so that the high priest would not find them and kill them for that they survived. Explained Majin Buu to the Z fighters on the spot. Vegeta spoke. So now we have to face Kid Buu's brother, who has a power that can destroy a god of destruction, said the Prince of Saiyans while rattling his tongue. Bulma said, But if he's so powerful, why didn't he prevent his brother from being controlled by Babidi? Asked the woman with blue hair to the angel. Majin Buu said, Hundreds of years ago, Zenosama destroyed an entire dimension which was soon named by the High Priest as the Void Dimension. In that dimension, Kid Buu's brother was sealed hundreds of years ago. So Akuma Buu doesn't he manage to help my brother? Said the pink one to the group that raised a question. Bulma said, But if he was sealed in that dimension, who sealed him? Asked the woman to Majin Buu. Majin Buu said, If I remember correctly, it was a Saiyan named Yamoshi. The same was the first Saiyan who became a god. Both fought for several days, and after Kid Buu's brother became weak, Yamoshi sealed him, and then used the superpowers, Dragon Ball Spheres to trap him in the Null Dimension. Well, that's all I remember, said Majin, while looking at the group in front of him. Goku said, if he's sealed, why did you say he's coming to Earth? Majin Buu said, because I felt him looking for me, not actually looking for Kid Buu, that's the part of me now. But he managed to do that means he managed to break free of his seal, and he's now after his brother said Majin Buu to Goku. Goku then asks, But I killed Kid Buu years ago, so how does he expect to find his brother? Asked the Saiyan. Vegeta said, Kakarot, you killed Kid Buu, and now his brother is coming to Earth. So that means he wants revenge for what you did to his brother and killed him. And he's coming to Earth even knowing he's dead. So he must know a way to bring his brother back to life. Said the Prince of Saiyans who spoke to Goku who now understood the reason for him coming to Earth. Majin Buu said, Well, now I've explained everything. We have to prepare for the battle, because I'm sure he won't take long to get to Earth," said Majin Buu, but suddenly he stopped talking as well as everyone else in the place, because they feel a huge power coming from outside the Capsule Corporation. Too late. He was the one that arrived, Majin Buu said as he ran out of Capsule Corporation with all the warriors in place, and at that moment everyone could see a being identical to Kid Buu with three antennas on his head while floating in front of Capsule Corporation. Vera said, who are you and what do you want from here? Asked the God of Destruction to the mysterious being. The mysterious being spoke. My name is Budamon, but you can call me Akuma Buu. And what I want here is simple. I want to revive my brother and kill those who brought his death. Said the purple skilled being while smiling in a demonic way. Akuma Buu said. So, you were the ones who killed my little brother, weren't you? Akuma Buu asked the Saiyans, mainly Son Goku, but none of them answered. Akuma Buu said, Well, if none of you are going to say anything, then I'm going to have to destroy this planet. 
and then I'll bring my little brother back, since I'm sure he'll be able to regenerate. Said Akuma Bu, raising his key, doing everything around Shake. Majin Buu, seeing all this, says, He's much stronger than before. At that level of power, he can face a god of destruction and even win. Said the fat Majin, while he was in shock with such power of Akuma Bu. Vegeta says, That's what we're going to see. Said the Prince of Saiyans, transforming into Super Saiyan Blue and advancing on Akuma Blue, who was standing still waiting for Vegeta's attack. Vegeta soon appeared in front of Akuma Buu and tries to punch him several times, but Akuma Buu was much faster than Vegeta, so he was just dodging while laughing at Vegeta, who tried to attack him with all his might. Akuma Buu said, You must be one of the Saiyans who killed my little brother. So now you've attacked, it's my turn. Akuma Buu spoke with a macabre smile in his face. Suddenly Akuma Buu appeared from Vegeta's sight and reappeared on top of him giving a powerful kick to his head causing Vegeta to be thrown with brutality onto the ground that made a three and a half meter crater in the ground. Akuma Buu said, You Saiyans are real stumbling blocks for us Majins. That Yamoshi was also a Saiyan, and he sealed me, and now my brother was killed by another Saiyan. I'm glad that Frieza destroyed your planet. In any case, otherwise I would do it. Said the pink being while laughing at Vegeta's face, who was very angry for what he said. Vegeta said, you damn insect, I'm going to do what Yamoshi didn't do. I'm going to kill you myself and prove that we Saiyans are the strongest race in this universe. Said the Prince of Saiyans, getting up and transforming into superior ego and then advancing on Akuma Buu, who seeing this gave a wide smile and advanced towards Vegeta. Vegeta now using superior ego was much more powerful than before. Now he was fighting Akuma Buu, who was no longer dodging but defending Vegeta's attacks. Because of the rain of attacks, Akuma Bu was leaving many gaps for possible attacks, and Vegeta seeing a perfect gap takes advantage of it and punches Akuma Bu in the face, but he doesn't even leave the place, leaving everyone in that place surprised, so Akuma Bu turns around. Still with Vegeta's fist on him, Vegeta, when he sees that wide smile on Akuma Bu's face, but it was no longer there, but on Vegeta's back. Akuma Bu spoke, I hope you enjoy hitting, because now it's my turn. So don't live too soon, Saiyan Prince. Akuma Buu spoke before starting a fight a little more seriously. Akuma Buu began to give several extremely fast blows around Vegeta that with each blow he screamed in pain. Then Akuma Buu kicked him right in the center of Vegeta's stomach, making him vomit blood and fly away until he stopped by Akuma Buu who appeared on top of him, giving another kick throwing him to the ground. Akuma Buu spoke. So this is the power that the Saiyan Prince is so proud of. Really pathetic, said Akuma Buu while stepping on the face of the Saiyan Prince, making his face sink even deeper into the ground. Goku says, Vegeta, said the Saiyan to Vegeta who now had Akuma Buu's foot on top of his face. He had now returned to his base form. Akuma Buu said, Well, the other Saiyan who killed Kid Buu was you, isn't it? And by the way, you can get your friend here. He didn't even warm up, said Akuma Buu before kicking Vegeta towards Capsule Corporation, making him cross the ceiling. Bulma spoke, Vegeta, screamed the woman to her husband as she ran out trying to help him inside Capsule Corporation. Goku said, damn you, I'm going to defeat you, said the Saiyan transforming into Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken 10X and advancing on Akuma Buu who got excited, seeing Goku seem to be stronger than Vegeta. Akuma seeing that Goku was stronger than Vegeta gave an exciting smile. After all, he could defeat an opponent stronger than the previous one. Soon Goku was face to face with Akuma Buu and the two began to exchange blows. Blows that Goku hit were weak compared to Akuma Buu's blows. With each blow, the two, everything around was destroyed and soon Akuma Buu kicked Goku and making it sink into the earth and Goku ended up in an underground cave where the two continued to fight. And it began to fall several stones on them, but Goku to protect himself began to destroy them all. Goku said, enough of this destruction said the Saiyan transforming again, and now he used superior instinct in its complete form causing all the stones that were falling on him to be destroyed because of so much energy that Goku released. Akuma Bu said, This power, it's the power that only angels can use. Ultra instinct. Amazing. This really is amazing to think that a mere Saiyan can achieve this power, says Akuma Bu, much more excited to fight now. Then the fight between Goku and Akuma Bu became much more frantic. Each punch caused a pressure in the air and with each kick the earth shook, and each time both raised their key. 
Soon the fight between the two begins to rise to the skies to the point that both leave the atmosphere and both start a fight in space. Soon Goku seeing that even with Ultra Instinct his blows were not being so effective, he begins to teleport around everyone. Sides around Akuma Buu who already didn't know where Goku would be. But soon Goku appears on Akuma Buu's back. Goku says, Kamehameha! The Saiyan shouts using his attack and hitting Akuma Buu making a giant explosion that could be seen from the ground. Akuma Buu said, I admit, that one hurt, said Akuma Buu, coming out of the smoke with some small wounds on his body, but not enough to make him bleed. Then he says, Now it's my turn said Akuma Buu copying the move from Goku and making a huge key attack and throwing it at Goku who couldn't dodge it and receive the attack. Right after the huge key attack, Goku had multiple wounds all over his body and Goku had lost his ultra instinct. Goku was tired. Akuma Buu says, Looks like this is your limit. It's a shame, said the pink being appearing in front of Goku and kicking him throwing him into the Earth's atmosphere, and soon the Saiyan falls near the Capsule Corporation, causing a crater again very big. Majin Buu said, Goku was also defeated, and now what are we going to do? Asked the fat Majin to himself while looking at Akuma Buu floating in front of them. Akuma Buu said, Now that I've defeated them, I just need to get my little brother, and then destroy this planet at once, said the Majin while looking at Goku and his friends. But suddenly a white aura seizes Akuma Buu's body, making him even more surprised when everyone looks who had done that to Akuma Buu. Whis said, I'm sorry, but you're not going to destroy anything, not today, said the angel with his hand, raised while using his key to trap Akuma Buu. Akuma Buu said, You are an angel. You shouldn't interfere, much less fight with all your might. So why are you doing this? Akuma Buu shouted angrily at Whis, who just gave him a smile. Whis said, I'm not going to interfere in this fight. I'm just going to buy them some more time. After all, they still need to get stronger to fight you. So until another day, Sir Akuma Buu, said the angel creating a time rift and playing Akuma Buu in her. Akuma Buu said, so get stronger, because I'm going to return and it won't take long. And when that happens, I'm going to destroy this planet and kill all of you. Akuma Buu shouted before the portal closed completely. Beerus said, Whis. You can't keep doing this thing all the time. If you're going to do this, Zenosama will erase you completely, said the god of destruction with a very serious expression for the angel. Bulma said, is it now? How long will it take to return? Vegeta's woman asked while looking at Whis. Whis said, judging by his power, he should return in 12 to 16 hours at most. In short, you two have time to get stronger to face him, said the angel to Goku and Vegeta who were now healed from having eaten the seeds of the gods. Vegeta spoke. But how are we going to do that in just a few hours? Asked the Prince of Saiyans to the angel. Whis said, Simple, you're going to train in my staff's dimension. So Bulma make as much food as possible so they can stay there for all the time. Train with everything. I already interfered once. I won't do it again. Said the angel to Goku and Vegeta who nodded in agreement and soon the two entered the dimension of the staff of Whis where the two would train until Akuma Buu managed to break free. After eight hours later, a rift in the sky appeared and from that rift, Akuma Buu came out. He was now sweaty and out of breath of having expanded a large amount of energy to return to the normal dimension. Whis said, He came back faster than I imagined, said the angel while looking at Akuma Buu, who now had smoke coming out of his body. Akuma Buu thought, Damn, now I'm tired from having used so much energy, so I better get Kid Buu and leave and then come back to destroy this planet. Akuma Buu thought soon, feeling Majin Buu's key and flying at high speed in the air in his direction. Soon Akuma Buu grabbed Majin Buu by his face and pierced his chest, using his hand making the fat Majin scream in pain. Then Akuma Buu withdrew his hand from Majin Buu's chest. Akuma Buu now had in his hand a kind of heart, Kid Buu's heart. Vegeta inside the whist staff says, Damn, he came back faster than we thought said the Prince of Saiyans while Akuma Buu threw Majin Buu's body away and started to float. Then Akuma Buu says, Today we were lucky, but next time you won't be. So get stronger, because in one week I will return to kill you. But now I have to take care of my little brother, said Akuma Buu before creating a rift and then crossing it. Goku said, Looks like we'll have to train a lot this week, Goku said next to Vegeta, but soon Whis appeared next to a fish. Whis said, Goku and Vegeta, Pay attention to what this fish will say, because this will be important for you to face Akuma Buu. 
said the angel to the Saiyans who then looked closely at the fish. The fish said, A long time ago I had a prophecy where an Ozaru and a demon would face each other, but this Ozaru was very different from normal. He had white fur and was the height of a normal person, and not colossal size like the Ozarus normally has, said the fish while looking at the Saiyans who were surprised. Vegeta says, Whis, do we know anything related to that white Ozaru? asked Vegeta to the angel who just shook his head negatively at him. Goku said, right, so let's ask Shen Long about this white Ozaru, says Goku to everyone in the place. Goku said, Bulma, do you already have some of the Dragon Balls with you? To which Bulma replies, yes, I do, but I only have five of the seven Dragon Balls. The other two you will have to go after. Bulma said to Goku, who then went inside the Capsule Corporation and took the Dragon Radar that was inside his office. Bulma said, Take it. Now you better go soon, Goku, and find the spears as soon as possible, told Bulma, throwing Dragon Radar to Son Goku. Goku said, Okay, I'll be back in a few hours at most, said the Saiyan, before starting to fly away from Capsule Corp in search of the two Dragon Balls that are missing. Two hours later, Finally, after about two hours, Goku returned to Capsule Corp with two spears in his hand, being that balls numbered five and seven stars. Goku said, okay, I already have the last two Dragon Balls, now we just need to summon Shenlong and ask about the mysterious white Ozaru that the fish prophesized, said the Saiyan, staying by Vegeta's side. And then Bulma leaves the Capsule Corporation with the other five Dragon Balls, and then it puts it on the ground and Goku does the same thing. Goku said, Shenlong, appear and grant my wish. Goku spoke out loud, and the balls began to glow. Soon the seven balls come together, and an incredible light rises to the sky, and from the same light, a green giant dragon with red eyes appears and puts his face close to Goku. Shenlong says, What do you want with me this time, son Goku? Asked the dragon to the Saiyan. Goku said, A new threat has appeared. He is called Akuma Bu, and he is Kid Buu's older brother, said the Saiyan to the dragon who soon raised his eyebrows. Shenlong said, Akuma Bu, if I remember correctly, Yamoshi defeated and sealed him many years ago, so that means he broke the seal. But now I wonder, what do you want from me? Do you want me to reseal it or destroy it? This is beyond my capabilities, said the dragon to the Saiyan. Bira said, we already know you're useless to defeat Devil Fruit, but that's not what we want. The God of Destruction sent to Shenlong that when he heard that, he felt hurt. Shenlong said, if that's not what you want, then why did you summon me? Asked Shenlong to Goku. So Vegeta says, It's just that the fish had a prophecy that a white Uzaru would face a being identical to Akuma Bu. So he called you to know if you know anything about this white Uzaru that was the same size as a normal person. And so, you know something about this Uzaru. The Saiyan Prince asked Shenron, who was silent for a few seconds, but then he started to talk. Shenron said, I don't know anything about this white Uzaru. But many years ago, even before Yamoshi became the first Saiyan to become a god through ritual, there was a Saiyan who surpassed the barrier of his ordinary Saiyan powers. And when this Saiyan was transformed into his Ozaru form, he became the same size as a human. He was so strong that he was able to face an army of more than 100,000 warriors. Shenron spoke to everyone in the place, who was very surprised, especially Goku and Vegeta, who were on the spot. Vegeta says, so there were Saiyans who surpassed the limits of our race and stayed that way like a humanoid ape. But I thought the power of the transformation into Super Saiyan was the power that surpasses the limits of the Saiyans, asked the Prince of Saiyans. Shenlon said, The Super Saiyan transformation is something that surpasses the limits of the Saiyan race, but it takes anger from that to happen. Since this human-sized Uzaru form is something that surpasses the limits of its true form, and this transformation would be the true pinnacle of Saiyan power. The dragon spoke to everyone in the place. Goku said, So this transformation would be the true control of the power of the Uzarus, the Saiyan asked Shenlong. Shenlong said, That's right. That's all I know about this Uzaru. But do you have any other wishes? Shenlong asked before leaving, making the sky turn blue and clear again. Whis said, Mr. Goku, what did you feel when you used the full power of Ultra Instinct for the first time? Asked the angel, curious to the Saiyan. Goku said, when did I use the full Ultra Instinct power for the first time? If I remember correctly, it was very strange. I felt as if something inside me wanted to come out. It was like something was trying to free itself. Saiyajin spoke to the angel. Whis asked another question. Lord Vegeta, what did you feel when you turned into Uzaru? Asked the angel to the Prince of Saiyans. Vegeta said, if I remember correctly, it was like my true instinct was breaking free, 
said the Prince of Saints to the angel. We said, okay, I get it, said the angel, making everyone in the place pay attention to him. Beerus said, do you understand what Wiss is? Asked the angel of destruction to the angel who now had a smile on his face. Wiss said, simple. When a Saiyan transformed into his Uzaru form, he releases his most primal instincts. And when Lord Goku used the power of Ultra Instinct, he felt something trying to break free from inside him. So I believe the white Uzaru, it would be the true power of the Saiyans united with the power of Ultra Instinct. The angel explained to everyone in the place something that made Goku and Vegeta very surprised, especially Son Goku. Goku said, so this white Uzaru that the fish saw in his prophecy would be me with the power of Ultra Instinct along with this true form of the Saiyans? Whis asked Goku. Whis said, well, everything that happened leads to believe that yes, that white Uzaru would be the Lord Goku, said the angel with a smile on his face. Vegeta said, so that means that Kakaroto will have to defeat Akuma Bu with this new form, said the Prince of Saiyans to the angel. Whis said, well, yes. But if Mr. Goku can be transformed into this form, you should also be able to since you can unite the powers of the Ultra Ego along with your Uzaru and thus reach the new form, said the angel making the Prince of Saiyans give a smile. Goku said, so we should start training as soon as possible since we still don't know when Akuma Bu will return to Earth, said the Saiyan excited to get this new transformation. Vegeta said, also, we have to remember that Akuma Bu said he would bring his brother Kid Bu back to life. So we'll have to face both of them at the same time. You'll take care of Akuma Buu, so I'll take care of Kid Buu, since he won't be as weak as we faced him years ago, said the Saiyan Prince to Son Goku. Beerus said, So what you two are waiting for? Go train now! It is to overcome that devil fruit and destroy him once and for all, together with Kid Buu. The God of Destruction spoke to the two Saiyans. On a distant planet! Currently, it was possible to see Akuma Bu on a desert planet inside a kind of cave that was very deep. And at the bottom of it, it was possible to see a type of cocoon that beat as if it were a beating heart. Akuma Bu said, Now it won't take long for you to come back to life, my little brother. And when that happens, we will both destroy that planet and kill those who bought your death, said Akuma Bu while looking at the cocoon in front of him. Akuma Bu said, even though this planet has no life, it has a lot of energy, and that energy will make you come back faster and stronger than ever. I just hope that those Saiyans are getting stronger. After all, it wouldn't be fun to kill them being so weak, said Akuma Bu while laughing at his thought of how he would kill the Saiyans. On a desert planet. Currently, it was possible to see Akuma Bu in front of a cocoon where Kid Bu was being revived. The cocoon was already much bigger than before since three days had passed since Akuma Bu placed him in that place in order to absorb the energy of that planet. The planet was very different from what it was before. The once desert planet full of yellowish sand was now dark gray, showing that every minute the life of the planet was ending. Akuma Bu said, It looks like it will only take a few more hours or a day at most, and after that my dear little brother will be revived but he will still be weak, so after he comes back to life, I will take him so I can absorb the vital energy of some beings and planets, so that he can become stronger than he was previously," Akuma Bu said while looking at the cocoon where his brother was. On Earth with Son Goku, Vegeta said, Hey Whis, do you already know where Akuma Bu is? said the Saiyan Prince to the angel who was looking at the spear of his staff. Whis said, No, I don't know where he is, but I know he's very good at hiding said the angel while looking at the Saiyan prince who just clicked his tongue out of anger. Bira said, this guy is really troublesome. And by the way, you two are going to just stand there or are you going to start training to learn how to transform into that new form? Asked the god of destruction to the two Saiyans. Goku said, we would like to start, but neither Vegeta nor I know how we could master this form since none of us have our traits to transform into Uzaru and even if we had the tail, we would not know how to achieve the Uzaru transformation white, said the Saiyan while looking at the God of Destruction who just sighed. Beerus said, what the fuck and why didn't your tails grow, asked the Lord of Destruction. Vegeta said, that's not how it works, a Saiyan's tail only grows during his childhood. After we turn 10 years old, our tails stop growing, and even if it is cut, it will never grow again," said Vegeta while looking at Beerus, who ended up slapping his hand on his forehead out of frustration. Kaioshin said, In this one, I can help you too," said Supreme Kaio, arriving at the place making everyone look at him. Bulma said, How can you help Vegeta and Goku to have their tails again? asked Bulma to Supreme Kaio. Kaioshin said, 
Simple. There is a technique that will make Lord Goku and Vegeta's tail grow back, but it will take about three days for it to grow and get the size so they can turn into an Uzaru, said the Supreme Kai, making everyone have a little hope. Kaioshin said, but there's a problem during that three days, Lord Goku and Vegeta were very weak because this technique that tires the body of whoever uses it, said the Supreme Kai, oh Lord, making everyone so shocked. After all, Goku and Vegeta are the ones strongest on Earth and they would be facing Akuma Buu and Kid Buu very soon. Vegeta said, what the hell? When we finally find a way for me and Kakarada to gain our tails again, so we can acquire this new form, it will take three days and it will make us weak, and Akuma Buu and Kid Buu can appear any time, said the Prince of the Angry Saiyan, since the only way for him and Goku to achieve the White Uzaru transformation, and I need to be three days weak, and they couldn't find anyone. Whis said, it's really a shame, so I'll try to find a way so that you two can transform into Uzaru without needing to have a tail," said the angel to the two Saiyans. Bira said, Dude, you two are really annoying. Kaioshin use that technique of yours or something and make these two idiots gain their Saiyan tails for the next three days. I will protect this planet while you are weak, said the God of Destruction rising up from his beach chair, attracting the attention of everyone in the place. Bulma said, then you will protect our planet, while Vegeta and Goku are too weak to fight against Akuma Buu and possibly Kid Buu, who must have probably been revived, said the blue-haired woman to the God of Destruction. Beerus said, I'll do it. After all, if you die, I won't have any good food from the land. The God of Destruction spoke to everyone in the place. Whis said, Do you want to protect the land because of the Bulma's food, or because you've gotten used to all its inhabitants and now you don't want to let anyone die? said the angel in a chuckle, something that made Beerus blush in embarrassment. Beerus said, Don't bother me, Wiss, and you two are waiting for what? You'll soon get that tail so you can defeat that evil Akuma Buu. The God of Destruction spoke to Goku and Vegeta. Goku and Vegeta said, Yes, sir. The two Saiyans were happy to know that the land would be protected for now. Kaioshin said, Since you've already made up your mind, then let's go because this technique is a bit time-consuming. So the faster we do it, the faster you can train to awaken this new transformation," said the Supreme Kaio Lord, to the two Saiyans who soon stood by your sides. Goku said, Goodbye, people. We'll be back in a few hours or so. And Sir Beerus, see if you don't destroy anything for no reason, said the Saiyan before teleporting along with Vegeta and the Kaioshin to the Supreme Kaio's Lord's planet. Now with Akuma Buu. After a few hours, it was possible to see the planet where Akuma Buu was, which was once a yellowish desert. Now it was a planet full of dark sand that looked like ash. And in a cave on the planet, it was possible to see Kid Buu's cocoon, which was now much bigger, while Akuma Buu was sitting looking at the cocoon that suddenly started to crack. Akuma Buu said, Finally, I couldn't wait any longer, said the Majin while looking at the cocoon opening. After the cocoon was fully open, it was possible to see a being a little shorter than Akuma Buu, but he had the same appearance as him having a pink skin with various types of holes in some parts of his body. And he had a type of antenna, which was different from Akuma Buu, which had three pink antennas. Akuma Buu spoke. So you finally been revived, my dear brother, said the Majin, while looking at his little brother, who suddenly gave a smile and tried to punch Akuma Buu but he easily dodged it. Kid Buu had no idea what was happening. He didn't see his bigger brother. There, he just saw another enemy that he needed to kill and absorb to increase his power. Akuma Buu, seeing that he couldn't do anything to stop his brother from trying to attack him, decided to defeat him. Akuma Buu said, I had forgotten that Bibidi had controlled you before. You had your brain formed, so trying to talk to you is useless. I'll have to defeat you, and then I'll see what I'm going to do with that brain of yours once it's fully formed. Akuma Buu said while dodging all of Kid Buu's attacks, who was annoyed by none of his attacks hitting Akuma Buu. Tired of playing with his brother, Akuma Buu simply appears on his back and hits his brother, making Kid Buu faint. Akuma Buu said, I already know what I'm going to do with you. If I remember correctly, there's a planet full of life near this planet. So I'll just put you there and wait for you to destroy that planet, and then just reap the process until your brain is completely formed," said Akuma Buu, putting his brother on his shoulder, and then flying to the planet that his brother would destroy to get stronger. 
Akuma Boo said, This planet will be perfect for you to develop your powers along with your brain. Akuma Boo said while looking at a planet in front of him that contained several living beings. Akuma Boo said, Let's go. Akuma Boo said as he flew to the planet and soon landed in a small town and said, Now it's time for you to wake up, my dear little brother, as he said it to Akuma Boo, and he was transferring some of his key so Kid Boo could wake up. Akuma Boo said, that should be enough for you to destroy this planet. Now you just have to watch all the vital energy and let the destruction begin," said Akuma Boo while looking at Kid Boo, who was waking up, and soon Akuma Boo creates a rift and passes by her, leaving Kid Boo on the planet alone. A few seconds later, Kid Boo finally woke up and looked around seeing a city full of life, something that made him give a macabre smile and soon began to fly by, and when he looked down he saw how much life that would be his energy. Alien One said, What is that flying? Wondered a greenish being with yellow eyes that looked towards the sky. Alien Two said, It appears to be a pink being with an antenna, but why is he flying? Said another greenish being who appeared to be a woman. Alien Three, Mom, look, there's something pink coming out of his hand, said a little green boy, similar to the other two beings next to him. But soon that peaceful city became a sea of flames and destruction when Kid Buu started to unleash several blasts of pink key that destroyed the buildings and killed several beings from that world. And each being killed and each building that was destroyed, Kid Buu smiled even more. After destroying his first city, Kid Buu started flying all over the planet where he saw life, he destroyed it. And the warriors of that world who tried to face Kid Buu, he made a pink ray come out of his antenna and turned them into chocolate or anything sweet and similar. The more he ate, the stronger he became. After two hours, the planet was totally destroyed. The life that was on the planet no longer existed, but all beings on that planet were completely destroyed. And after all that, Akuma Bu, who was in the planet's orbit just watching all the destruction and chaos created by Kid Bu, caused Akuma Bu to give a satisfying smile at the sight of all the destruction done by his brother. Akuma Bu thought, if he continues like this, he will need several planets of that same level for him to be able to fully develop his brain. And if I want him to have high power levels to face those Saiyans, he will have to destroy thousands of planets and devour hundreds of living beings to get stronger. Akuma Bu thought about how many planets Kid Bu would have to destroy to get even stronger to face the Saiyans and if it would take time. Akuma Bu said, Well, now I better take my little brother to the next planet said Akuma Bu as he flew at high speeds towards Kid Bu who was laughing like a maniac because of all the destruction he caused. The moment Kid Bu saw Akuma Bu he tried to attack him, since for him Akuma Bu was just another person who should be killed by him. But Akuma Bu just slapped him on the back of the head making him faint and then Akuma Bu caught him and placed it on his shoulder and soon began flying towards another planet so that Kid Bu could destroy himself to become even stronger. Akuma Bu thought, are those other two Saiyans getting stronger? I hope so. I would really like to face that Saiyan who had the power of Ultra Instinct. And I would like my brother to fight that other one who has the power of a Hakaishin. If I remember his name well, Vegeta. <laughs> that will be a lot interesting. Akuma Bu thought as he flew to another planet full of life so Kid Bu can destroy it. Whereas with Goku and Vegeta, currently Son Goku and Vegeta were with the Supreme Kaio Lord on their planet, the three beings were flying towards a violet colored lake and soon the three stopped flying and soon reached the ground and soon the Kaioshin starts talking to the two Saiyans. Vegeta said, So Supreme Kai, how are we going to get our Saiyan tails again? Asked the Saiyan Prince to Supreme Kaio. Kaioshin said, Well, you two will have to go through a setback ritual. The Supreme Kai spoke to the two Saiyans, something that made Son Goku confused. Goku said, Kickback ritual? What is that? asked the confused Saiyan to Supreme Kaio. The Kaioshin said, The retreat ritual is a ritual that makes the individual return to their original origins. In the case of the two of you being Saiyans, you will go back to having a child's body. And at that time, you had your tails. He explained the Supreme Kai to the two Saiyans. Vegeta said, But if we go back to being children, we would become weaker, and we wouldn't be able to face either of the two Majins, said the Prince of Saiyans to the Supreme Kaio Lord. The Kaioshin said, well, that's true. If you go back to being children, you will become weaker. But after three days, I will use another ritual to age your two bodies. And when that happens, you will have your powers in their full splendor. 
and you will still have your Saiyan tails, so you can transform into the new form of Ozaru. Spoke the Supreme Kai to the two Saiyans in front of him, who were more relieved not to lose their powers permanently. Goku said, okay, so let the ritual start soon so we can gain our tails and train, so we can gain our new transformations and then defeat Akuma Buu and Kid Buu said the Saiyan very excitedly to be able to get stronger than ever and defeated the two Majins. Vegeta said, So, what do we need to do to perform this setback ritual? asked the Saiyan Prince to Supreme Kaio. Kaioshin said, Simple. I want you two to dive into the center of the lake and don't leave there until I say. While you're inside, I'll recite some words to activate the lake and then the retreat will start. After that, I'll give the warning for you two to get out of the lake. It's as simple as that. And alas, don't worry about oxygen, the lake will give you everything you need," said the Supreme Kaio Lord to the two Saiyans. Soon Goku and Vegeta began to float in the center of the lake. Then the Supreme Kai gave the order and the two entered the lake, sinking their bodies completely. The Supreme Kai started reciting some words in a completely strange language and suddenly the violent lake started to shine intensely, making the water turn clear blue. After two hours of the beginning of the ritual, finally the lake stopped shining. Kaioshin said, Goku Vegeta, you two can get out of the lake now. The Supreme Kai said to the two Saiyans who soon left the lake, but they were not like their adult appearances, but a childish appearance, and their clothes were much smaller in size, their bodies. Goku said, our agent got small, and Vegeta, you're younger than when you met Bulma and the others, Saiyan said while looking at his reflection in the water. Vegeta said, I never thought I would get that size again. I remember that at that age, I wanted to be the king of the Saiyans and someday become the strongest in the universe. As I was a child at that time, said the prince of the Saiyans, while remembering when he was a child. Kaioshin said, apparently the retreat ritual was a success. Now you two will have to stay here for the next three days. During these three days, your tails will grow back again. And for that, you will have to bathe four times a day, so that these waters can make their tails grow again in these three days spoke the Supreme Kai to Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta said it's better than that, right? Because otherwise we're screwed, said the Prince of Saiyans while looking at Supreme Kai Lord. Goku said, hey Vegeta, how about we fight to see who was stronger between the two of us when we were kids, since we don't have much to do, said the excited Saiyan to Vegeta who was also excited about it. Vegeta replied, of course, now I could prove that I'm stronger than you since our childhood Kakaroto said Vegeta excited, and the two Saiyans started to face each other. Currently with Akuma Buu and Kid Buu. Now it was possible to see Akuma Buu on top of a mountain while watching his brother Kid Buu who was destroying another city, being this the last city with living beings on that planet. After Kid Buu finally destroyed the city with a key orb which ended up creating the immense crater, Akuma Buu seeing that he was done, got up and started flying towards Kid Buu to knock him out and take him to the next planet. Akuma Buu said, So far, Kid Buu has destroyed 32 planets and killed about 7.5 billion living beings in just 8 hours of Earthling time. So far, it's not bad, but it would be better if he had his brain more developed, so he wouldn't waste time playing with his victims, said the Majin as he flew towards Kid Buu to take him to the next planet. Soon, Akuma Buu was in front of his brother, already waiting to be attacked like the last times, but this time it was different. Kid Buu, when he saw Akuma Buu, didn't try to attack him, but knelt in front of Akuma Buu, who was surprised. Akuma Buu thought, Did he kneel in front of me? That means he doesn't see me as a threat, but with respect. So his brain has already developed more, and he already understands who I am. This is very good. If it continues like this soon, he will start speaking his first words. Thought the Majin, happy to see that his brother's brain is already developing faster. Akuma Buu said, it's good to know that you already know that I'm not your enemy, but get up. I'm your brother, not your master to kneel in my presence, said the Majin to his brother, who soon stood up. Akuma Buu said, Now come on, you have many other planets to destroy, and now that you have a little more intelligence, I will take you to a planet that has your strength level, so you can evolve faster, said Akuma Buu as he started flying with Kid Buu, looking for another planet to destroy. On to Goku and Vegeta. Currently, the two Saiyans were still facing each other with the appearance of children, and even though they were weaker for not having their adult bodies, the two Saiyans were still very strong. Kaioshin thought, I thought that Lord Goku and Vegeta would be quite weak to be children again, but in reality they are not weak. These two are really strong, 
and their tails have already grown back again, thought Supreme Kai while watching the two Saiyans face each other. Goku said, Let's take this more seriously, Vegeta, said the Saiyan jumping away from Vegeta. Vegeta said, I agree. It's time to start fighting seriously, Kakaroto, said the Prince of Saiyans to Goku. Soon the two Saiyans that were already away from each other began to raise their ki, making the hair of both Saiyans float as they turned golden and went back to black. But soon the two turned into Super Saiyans. When they transformed, they ended up doing the same thing. Floor cracks and some rocks start to levitate. And after transforming, the two advanced towards each other, clashing their fists, creating a small pressure in the wind. Because of the blow, soon the two separated and advanced in again punching, kicks, and making key attacks. After two hours of the beginning of the fight, between the two Saiyans, the battle between them was finally over, and in the place there were some small craters created during the combat, and now it was possible to see the two Saiyans with their clothes well torn and dirty, in addition to both of them having some bruises all over their body. Goku said, Wow, you really were stronger than me when I was a kid, but I still managed to defeat you, Saiyan said while smiling. Vegeta said you only won because you used the power of Kaioken together with the Super Saiyan. If you hadn't used that, I would have won from you, Kakaroto, said the Prince of Saiyans, a little indignant at his defeat against his rival. Goku said, Supreme Kai, do you know if Akuma Bu and Kid Bu have already returned to Earth or something like that? The Saiyan asked sitting in front of Kaioshin along with Vegeta who was also curious. Kaioshin said, so far, Akuma Bu and Kid Bu haven't come close to Earth, but since the day he left the Earth, I felt some planets being destroyed and several lives being lost. Supreme Kai spoke to both of them Saiyans, who were in shock because of it. Goku said, has Kid Bu been revived? The Saiyan asked Kaioshin. Kaioshin said yes, he was revived after draining all the life energy from a planet and from the look of it, he's getting stronger than before. The Supreme Kai warned the two Saiyans, Vegeta said if he's back, it means that Devil Fruit will do something to strengthen Kid Buu. But how would he get strong enough to face me in Kakaroto? After all, he and I now have the same power level of a god of destruction. The Saiyan asked Supreme Kai, who put his hand on his chin while thinking. Kaioshin said, well, he's a Majin, and he can absorb life energy and turn it into power. The more they kill, the stronger they will become. Speak the Supreme Kai to the two Saiyans, who were very surprised and a little worried. Vegeta said, How many planets and beings have they killed so far? The Saiyan asked Kaioshin. Kaioshin said, So far, they've destroyed 35 planets and killed a total of 10.8 billion living beings, and it seems they won't stop anytime soon, said Kaioshin with regret. Vegeta said, Shit, every second we stay here, waiting, more people are dying, and more planets are being destroyed, said the Prince of Saiyans, something that made Supreme Kai and Goku look at him. Kaioshin said, I heard it wrong. Or is Mr. Vegeta worried about the deaths that Akuma Bu and Kid Bu are causing? Said Supreme Kai in a playful tone to the Prince of Saiyans. Goku said, if you heard it wrong, I heard it too. Wow, these years of living with humans have changed you a lot in Vegeta. Said Goku in a joking tone. Vegeta said, don't think nonsense. I don't care who lives or dies and how much, how less many planets will be destroyed. I'm just worried about having two very strong Majins coming to Earth, and even Beerus being strong, maybe he won't be able to fight against two Majins at once, and apart from Beerus, there's no one who can face them. The Prince of Saiyadin said seriously to the Supreme Kaio Lord and to Goku. Goku said, hey Supreme Kai, is there any way to make our tails grow faster so that Vegeta and I can get back to our normal size? The Saiyan asked Supreme Kaio. Kaioshin said, unfortunately, no. If I tried to do something like that, you would die in the process. And if I tried to pull your tails out, I could rip them off. And if that happened, you would never have your tails again. So the only thing that you can do right now is wait. Back with Akuma Buu and Kid Buu. Akuma Buu said, this planet will be the 36th planet to destroy by my brother. If it continues like this, at most we will have to destroy 64 more planets. And being honest, it's very boring to just watch Kid Buu destroy the planets and I'm in the mood to have some fun," said the Majin while looking at his brother, who was destroying the planet. But soon Akuma Bu has an idea that makes him very excited. Akuma Bu said, I already know what I'm going to do, my little brother. Until he has a brain formed enough, 
he will have to continue destroying the planets, and he can do it alone. In the meantime, I will go to the planet Earth and play a little with that god of destruction, since I can't feel the key of those Saiyans, said Akuma Bu, while giving a very wide psychotic smile at the thought of facing the god of destruction of Universe 7. On Planet Earth Currently on Planet Earth, it was possible to see Akuma Bu in front of all the Z warriors who stared at him with great fear of the Majin who just laughed at the warriors in front of him. Akuma Bu said, Wow, are you the warriors who are defending this planet? More than the most pathetic and ridiculous thing, you guys are so scared that you might end up peeing your pants before I even start fighting. Akuma Bu said while laughing at the warriors in front of him who were scared to death. Gohan thought, so this is the Majin who defeated my father using the power of Ultra Instinct, and Mr. Vegeta using Superior Ego, as if it were no big deal. Can we at least hurt this guy? wondered the Saiyan while looking at Akuma Bu, who was releasing a terrifying demonic aura. Master Roshi thought, This guy is a being of pure evil energy. Not even Goku and Vegeta using their powers to the fullest managed to defeat him. Would Mafuba be able to hold him for some time? Mr. Roshi thought as he seriously looked at Akuma Bu. Piccolo thought this guy is too strong for all of us. The most we can do is make him tired so that Beerus can defeat him and maybe kill him. The Namek thought while looking at Akuma Bu. Akuma Bu said, look, I'm already starting to get upset. Taking the God of Destruction out of this universe, none of you have enough power to get me excited for a battle. But now that I'm remembering better, I kind of entered the mind from my brother to see what he did during the time. He was being controlled by that mage, Babidi. And if I remember correctly, you were the one who fought and humiliated my brother in that form called Superbu. Akumabu spoke while pointing and looking at Gohan. Gohan said, At the time I had to fight Majin Bu, who was in his Superbu form. But I was defeated because of my arrogance for thinking that the battle was already won, and because of that I was absorbed by Superbu. Thought the Saiyan while looking at Akumabu who looked at him at the serious Gohan. Akuma Bu said, just by your facial expression, I would say that I am right. I must say that you are someone very strong to have faced my brother that way. But because of your arrogance, you ended up letting your guard down, and because of that you were defeated. I could kill you now and humiliate you the same way you did my brother, but I won't do that. I'll let him fight you himself, and that's why I'll spare your life. Akuma Bu said while looking at Gohan. Beerus said, don't think you can do what you want on this planet, so I'll say this just once. Get off the planet while you can, and if you don't, I'll have to kill you and erase you from the world once and for all. The God of Destruction spoke as he released his energy of destruction, causing the ground to shake, something that made Akuma Bu's smile disappear for a few seconds. But then he remade the smile even wider and psychotic, releasing his own energy. Akuma Bu said, your energy of destruction being released from your body is really impressive, Beerus, but your energy doesn't make me scared at all. Unlike those weak ones who easily kneel before your energy of destruction, I see this energy. It just makes me even happier and excited for a battle. Akuma Bu spoke as he released a massive amount of energy that rivaled Beerus' destruction energy head on. The moment Beerus and Akuma Bu's energy collided, they made the ground shake and crack apart from causing a storm. Whoever saw the scene thought that it would be the end of the world, and if Akuma Bu wasn't defeated at that very moment, planet Earth would be completely destroyed. Whis said, Bulma, you and all the others with low fighting power stay by my side now, ordered the angel for all those who couldn't fight Akuma Bu to stay by his side. Goten said, Trunks, let's do the fusion. With it, we'll have enough power to rub your face on the ground, said Goten, while looking at Akuma Bu, who when looking at the two children in the place got a disgusted face. Akuma Bu said, is this for real? Two kids want to fight me and still think they can defeat me? To be honest, I like fighting real warriors and I don't want to fight these two shit brats, said Akuma Bu while looking at Goten and Trunks who are about to merge. Bulma said, Trunks and Goten, don't even think about fighting this guy. Come here immediately, ordered the blue haired woman while looking at her son and Chi Chi's son. Trunks said, but mom, with our help, we can defeat this guy and protect planet Earth, said Vegeta's son trying to convince his mother to let him fight Akuma Bu, who was already getting impatient with all that talk. Bulma said, no way Trunks, not even your father and Goku using all their strength were able to beat this guy, 
Not even you and Goten using fusion could even be able to make this Majin bleed. So come now to hear where you will be protected by the Wiz," screamed Bulma, ordering her son to stay by her side. Trunks seeing that he couldn't convince his mother to change her mind, he and Goten quickly go and stand by Bulma's side. Soon Wiz creates an energy dome around them, protecting them from future fights between Akuma Buu and other warriors. Akuma Buu said, well now that this bullshit is over, let's get to the real thing, said Akuma Buu, raising his energy and then advancing towards the Z warriors who did the same thing being that Piccolo were the ones who were closer in front of others. The fight starts, Gohan and Piccolo will try to do a double attack on the Majin and soon the two try to punch the Majin while Gohan aiming at Akuma Buu's face and Piccolo at the abdomen. But Akuma Buu easily stopped both attacks and gave a double kick each tossing them away causing both of them to be thrown hard against two trees, knocking them down in the process. Soon after, several discs made of energy were fired at Akuma, who jumped and dodged the energy disc created by Krillin. But soon the same key attacks will return towards Akuma Buu. Following him, Akuma Buu seeing that those attacks would not go to stop following him, he creates a blade of key in each of his hands and destroys Krillin's attacks. Soon a shower of key attacks are blocked against Akuma Buu that creates a resumption of energy around his body protecting him from all the attacks that will end up generating a large amount of dust and soon as the dust disappears, showing Akuma Buu completely protected with none, not even a scratch. Akuma Buu said, is that all you can do? I'm really very disappointed in all of you. Akuma Buu asked in an arrogant tone to the warriors. Gohan said, and who said we were trying to defeat you? This is what we call strategy, Gohan said to Akuma Buu who soon turned around and saw Master Roshi performing Mafuba, sealing him inside a pot which he then threw to Beerus. Beerus spoke. The plan worked to seal him off, but that seal won't last long. So Wiss, send me to another dimension so I can face Akuma Buu, a dimension he can't easily get out of, ordered Beerus to his angel. Wiss said, yes sir, said the angel while knocking his staff on the ground creating a portal to another dimension. Beerus said, I'll buy as much time as I can for those two idiots. Wiss, don't let my sacrifice be in vain, said the god of destruction looking at the angel who just nodded his head positively and soon Beerus entered the portal to another dimension on planet Earth. Currently it was possible to see all the Z fighters looking at the portal that was in front of Beerus, who soon entered the portal before it closed. Gohan said, now Sir Beerus will have to face the Akuma Buu in that dimension alone. I hope he can defeat that Akuma Buu or at least weaken him," said the Saiyan while looking at the portal that was slowly closing. Whis said, The time that Mr. Beerus can get will be enough. The time in that dimension is very different. One hour in that dimension is ten days on planet Earth. So the longer Mr. Beerus holds out, the better it will be for Mr. Goku and Vegeta, so that they learn to use the new transformation said the angel, already with a little fear, after he already knew that Beerus would not be able to defeat Akuma Buu, much less leave that dimension alive. Palma said, that means that Goku and Vegeta will have to train harder than ever to defeat Akuma Buu and Kid Buu. I hope they succeed. Let's believe them once again, said the woman pointing her finger at every Z warrior on the spot. Piccolo said, Palma is right. The time Mr. Beerus got for Goku and Vegeta is for us too, so we should all do our best. Let's train while Beerus fights Akuma Buu in that dimension," said Piccolo to all the Z warriors, who in the midst of that despair managed to have confidence again. Whis thought, Mr. Beerus, I hope you can buy enough time for Mr. Goku and Vegeta to be able to transform into that new form of Uzaru, thought the angel as he accidentally let a lone tear fall from his eyes. After all, the same would lose a great friend. Now in another dimension. In another dimension that had several asteroids floating all over the place, which by the way was very similar to outer space, it was possible to see a portal being opened in the middle of that place and from that same portal came Beerus, the god of destruction of the seventh universe. And at that moment, Beerus leaves the portal completely, it closes. Beerus says, so this is where I'll face Akuma Buu. It's quite a beautiful place, but now enough of the drama. Now it's time for me to buy time for those two idiot Saiyans, 
Beerus said while looking at the sky of the place. But soon Beerus lowers his head and looks at the little one vase that was in his hand that was now already starting to break. Without further delay, the pot where Akumabu had been sealed breaks, and Beerus soon throws the pot away, and in mid-air, the pot ends up breaking, freeing Akumabu in the process. As he came out of his seal, Akumabu was very angry at Beerus and all the other Z fighters. Akumabu said, So you sealed me away and put me in the other dimension? I must say it was a good strategy. But you guys forgot one thing. I can create rifts between dimensions. In short, it won't stop me from leaving here and destroying everything, Akumabu said while looking at Beerus who had a smile on his face. Beerus said, Sorry, but you won't be able to leave this place. This dimension was made by Wiss, and in it, your power to create rifts between dimensions won't work. But don't worry. After all, I'll keep you company. So prepare yourself, Akumabu, because today I will finish you, spoke Beerus, releasing his key. Akumabu said, let's see if you're strong enough for this. So come, God of Destruction, Akumabu shouted, releasing his key, making that place tremble along with Beerus' key. And when the two keys collided, several of those asteroids of that place were destroyed. Without further ado, Akumabu charged towards Beerus, who did the same thing, and soon the two tried to punch each other, causing the two blows to collide, causing a huge explosion of pure raw power, something that made Akumabu very angry, excited about combat. Beerus seeing that Akumabu was very powerful, he releases even more of his power and manages to punch Akumabu in the face, which when taking the punch ended up flying and ends up crashing into a huge boulder. Akumabu said, until that blow hurt, so it's time to fight even more seriously. Akumabu spoke, raising his power even more, and like lightning he rushed towards Beerus, who did the same thing. Soon the two warriors collided in the sky, and started a very intense battle, a battle where Akumabu was getting the better, and Beerus was being defeated. Beerus thought, Shit, this guy is too strong, so it's time to fight for real, thought Beerus, moving away from Devil Fruit, and raised his power even more and soon his Hakashin power ended up changing his body that became very similar to the power that Topo had, demonstrating in the Tournament of Power. After completing his transformation, Beerus teleported and appeared in front of Akumabu, who tried to punch Beerus, but he was much faster than before. Beerus dodged and attacked Akumabu with a kick to his chest, making him spit out some saliva. At Beerus' speed, at the moment easily beat the speed of sound. Akumabu said, That, that's what I wanted. That was the power I wanted to badly face. So come, Beerus, because now I'm really excited. Akumabu shouted, raising his power so much, so much, that it made his skin turn purple and look like Beerus. Beerus thought, This power looks like the power of a Hakashin. I have to finish this damn thing once and for all, thought Beerus, as he looked at Devil Fruit Boo's new form. And soon the two warriors charged at each other with everything, making everything around turn to dust. The battle between the two warriors was getting so intense that the place before full of stones floated by the place and it no longer existed. There was nothing left but Akumabu and Beerus who were facing each other with their strength. Beerus seeing that not even his aura made with his power of destruction was affecting Akumabu. Beerus created a unique, more powerful Hakai an attack that Beerus never showed before. This Hakai contained his life, and he threw it against Akumabu, who incredibly absorbed all of it. That energy of destruction, making its power even stronger. Akumabu seeing that his power was even greater. In the end, he had just absorbed Beerus' most powerful Hakai. After that, he just smiled, very convinced of his victory. But that was Beerus' plan, who was smiling while looking at Akumabu, that soon he felt his body being destroyed, as he looked at his arm which was overflowing with the power of destruction that was destroying his body. Akumabu said, Damn you! Even using these dirty plans I won't be defeated! Screamed Akumabu, releasing all his power and releasing the energy of Beerus' destruction from his body. Beerus seeing all that power being released puts his two arms in front of his body to protect himself, and it didn't take long for that power to dissipate 
and when Beerus looked where Akumabu was and didn't see him, Beerus looked everywhere, until he felt something pierce his chest, and then looked over his shoulder, and saw Akumabu very injured and panting, but still with his psychotic smile as his hand pierced Beerus's chest. Akumabu said, I, I won. Now die at once, god of destruction, Akumabu said while laughing and withdrawing his hand from inside Beerus's chest. Beerus thought, Looks like I really couldn't kill Akumabu. I hope the time I've gained is enough for Goku and Vegeta to have returned to their original size. I should have eaten some more, thought the god of destruction soon, closing his eyes, showing that it had died. On the planet of Supreme Kai, Currently in the world of the Kaio's Lord Planet, it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta already in their adult forms. And with their tails fully grown, both Saiyans were already with their clothes torn. After all, both had finished their training of the day to control the power of Uzaru that they both possessed. Soon the two Saiyans looked at the Supreme Kai who had fallen to his knees on the ground, causing both of them to be surprised. Goku said, Supreme Kai, what's going on? The Saiyan asked Supreme Kaio. Kaioshin said, Looks like I won't be able to stay by your side and help you train. Vegeta said, What are you saying that? Asked the Prince of Saiyans to the Kaioshin. The Kaioshin said, Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7 died, and with that, now I will also die. So goodbye to you too, said the Kaioshin, soon turning into energy particles and disappearing, causing Goku and Vegeta to be shocked by the news that Beerus had been defeated and killed. The moment Goku heard that Beerus had been killed by Devil Fruit and saw the Supreme Kai also being killed, it caused Goku to go into a huge rage mode, and he ended up turning into an Uzaru, and Vegeta, seeing this, walked away. From him, soon Goku, without any control of his transformation, started to glow, and soon all his coat before, brown was now completely white with the aura of Ultra Instinct around him. Vegeta said, so this is the power of the white Ozaru? It's really amazing. But Kakarot is out of his mind, so I have to wait to get him back to normal, said Vegeta, activating his superior ego power and advancing towards Goku, and gave an extremely strong blow to the back of his head, doing the same feint and then reverting to his human form. In another dimension, where Beerus fought against Akuma Buu, two hours had passed, but on planet Earth, two weeks had passed, and during that time, Goku and Vegeta had already regained their normal size, and both started training to maintain their consciousness in Ozaru form without losing control. But after the death of Beerus and the Kaioshin, Goku ended up losing control of his new power, without wanting to transform into a white Ozaru, having the same size as a normal human. But without any control, something that Vegeta had never seen before. After Vegeta managed to knock out Goku, transformed into White Ozaru, he waited for Goku to wake up, and soon he woke up both and returned to the planet Earth. On planet Earth, it was currently possible to see all the Z fighters training like never before. After they found out that Beerus had been killed by Devil Fruit, they started training much harder than before. But soon they all stopped training when they saw Goku and Vegeta appear at the scene, using teleport. Whis said, Welcome back, Sir Goku and Vegeta. Have you made any progress in training the two of you? And by the way, I think you already know that Mr. Beerus is dead, don't you? Asked the angel while looking at Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta said, Our training was going well, but when the Kaioshin ended up revealing to us that Beerus had been killed, he also died. His body turned into small particles and disappeared in front of us. But when that happened, Kakarot ended up losing control and turned into a white Uzaru said the Prince of Saiyans to the angel. Whis said, I understand. Apparently you still don't have control over this transformation, and we don't have any more time to waste. We have to test this new power in practice. Everything will work out, so I hope Beerus's death can't be in vain. But before that, why not do the last training on my staff? Said the angel, while looking at the two Saiyans. Whis said, That you two will train in the dimension of my staff. And don't worry, there's enough food for both of you to survive. Now go, said the angel, knocking his staff on the ground, creating a portal to the dimension of his staff. And then, the two Saiyans entered the portal and immediately started training. And now with Kid Buu. 
Currently, it was possible to see Kid Buu flying amid the wreckage of some planets that were destroyed by the Majin. In addition to several bodies flying through space and some warriors that were turned into chocolate by Kid Buu who was eating them all. Kid Buu said, My brother went to that planet Earth, didn't he? I already know. I will go to that planet and I will destroy everything that is in my way. And I will absorb the strongest warriors. When I arrive on planet Earth, I will end those Z warriors, especially those who faced me in the past, said the Majin soon heading to planet Earth as it remembered its battle with the Z warriors. Five days later on planet Earth, we said, All of you get ready because Akuma Bu is leaving the dimension and coming here. And I can also feel another power similar to his coming towards planet Earth. So I would say that this is Kid Bu, said the angel, leaving everyone on sight worried and alert. It didn't take long for the sky above the capsule corporation to appear a portal where Akuma Bu came out. Then Kid Bu also appeared, who was in the orbit of that planet. He's seeing his brother. He goes to him and stays by his side. Kid Bu said, Are you okay, my brother? You seem to be a little hurt and tired, Kid Buu asked his brother. Akuma Buu said, I must admit that fighting that Hakaishin was quite difficult. He made me fight seriously, and it made me spend a lot of energy. And besides that, there was a barrier in that dimension, and it was harder to get back to this world, said Akuma Buu while looking at his brother. And soon the two went down to the ground where Akuma Buu sat on the ground while his brother would fight the Z warriors alone. Kid Buu said, A few years ago you guys defeated me, but at that time I still didn't have my brain 100% formed. But now I am complete and stronger than ever, so today I am going to kill you all. Kid Buu said, releasing his power, making some of the Z fighters scared. But soon Kid Buu advanced towards the Z fighters, who had done the same when Whis created a barrier to protect the people with low fighting power. At a very high speed, Kid Buu appeared in the middle of the Z warriors who were very surprised by that. But soon they tried to hit Kid Buu all at once. But Kid Buu made a key barrier and threw everyone away and fired some blasts of key on the weakest warriors, defeating them at the same time, leaving only Gohan and Piccolo from the Z warriors. Kid Buu without delay advanced towards Gohan and Piccolo who did the same and the three started a close range battle that clearly Kid Buu was winning. And even with the perfect timing of Gohan and Piccolo, the two are very weak compared to the other. Kid Buu, who then using his fist crosses Piccolo's chest and then kicks, this made Gohan very angry. Gohan, now moved by anger, advanced with everything towards Kid Buu, punching him in the face and then kneeling on his stomach. And to finish, he made a Kamehameha and shot at point blank range at Kid Buu, making a big short smoke, thinking that the attack had defeated Kid Buu. Gohan let his guard down, and at that moment Gohan received several shots made by Ki that killed Gohan at the same time. Kid Buu said, Wow, what a shame. They didn't even give me a little fun, despite the fact that one day I was humiliated by this Saiyan, said the Majin with his foot on the face of the already dead Gohan. But suddenly Kid Buu is thrown away when he receives a punch, causing him to be thrown close to Akuma Buu. And soon, the two Majins look at who had done that. They saw Goku and Vegeta. Goku said, Gohan, Piccolo, guys, I swear I'll finish these guys and I'll revive you all with the Dragon Balls, said the Saiyan while looking at the dead body of his son and his friends, something that made the Saiyan stay very angry. Akuma Buu said, Finally, you guys arrived. I was already worried that you guys gave up fighting me and my brother. So now that you're here, Let's start playing, said the Majin, getting up while smiling. But soon his smile disappeared when he received a punch from Goku, making him fly. And Goku started flying after him. Taking advantage of that, Vegeta started flying after Kid Buu, who had started flying towards his brother. And soon the two Saiyans and Majins arrived at a place isolated where they could fight without fear of hurting anyone in the process. Akuma Buu said, I admit this hurt. It seems like you're stronger than the last time we faced each other. After all, your punch wasn't so fast and not that strong. Akuma Buu spoke, impressed with Goku's new strength, who was very serious. Vegeta said, 
I hope you enjoyed your days alive, Kidbo. After all, today will be the day where you will die again, and again it will be by the hands of a Saiyan," said the Prince of Saiyan in an arrogant way to Kid Buu, who just smiled before starts laughing at Vegeta's face. Kid Buu said, Soon you will say that to me. If I remember correctly, you ended up killing yourself trying to kill me years ago. And even with your sacrifice, I wasn't killed. But don't worry. This time, you won't kill yourself. After all, I will kill you, said the Majin to the Saiyan who got a nerve jumping in his forehead. Goku said, I'm going to finish you, Akuma Buu, and I'm going to avenge all those you and Kid Buu killed, especially my son. And Mr. Beerus, said Goku before releasing his power and activating the Ultra Instinct. And then Vegeta does the same thing, activating his higher ego. After Goku and Vegeta activated Ultra Instinct and Superior Ego, the two advanced towards the Majins and Vegeta was on top of Kid Buu and Goku was on top of Akuma Buu. Soon the two Saiyans get close enough to their enemies and the two punch each of the Majins throwing them in opposite directions so neither of them can get in the way of each other. And soon Goku and Vegeta look at each other and the two wave at each other before flying towards their enemies. Now with Vegeta. Vegeta vs Kid Buu. Soon Vegeta arrives at the place where he had thrown Kid Buu with his punch and soon the two start a frantic battle. Every punch they gave made the place destroy itself with the pressure of the wind. Then Vegeta leaves Kid Buu and starts to fire several key blasts but Kid Buu countered using his own key attacks. Kid Buu said, you're stronger but that's not enough to defeat me, said Kid Buu while disappearing and reappearing beside Vegeta punching Vegeta in key coded in the face causing the Saiyan to be thrown violently to the ground. Vegeta said, that's enough. I'm not going to waste time with this battle. Even though I haven't mastered this power of Kakaroto, of the perfect Uzaru, I can use this form and that's enough to defeat you, said the prince of the Saiyans, returning to his base form and soon transforming into imperfect Uzaru. Kid Buu said, do you really think I'll be defeated by a mere monkey like you? Kid Buu spoke with arrogance until the Uzaru's fur started to turn purple and yes Vegeta managed to achieve 100% of his transformation and with that he completed his perfect Uzaru transformation. Vegeta said, get ready Kid Buu because I will kill you with the power of the Uzaru of destruction and this time you will be permanently killed, said Vegeta with his new form in Uzaru named Uzaru of destruction. Now Vegeta and his new transformation quickly advanced towards Kid Buu, punching Buu making him cross a mountain range that was behind him. And at the moment that Kid Buu crossed all the mountains, Vegeta was already waiting for him. After that, Majin started firing a large amount of key attacks, but Vegeta didn't even care about the attacks as they were all destroyed by the energy of his body's destruction. Vegeta said, was that supposed to affect me? Don't tell me you're already getting desperate. Is this the power of a Majin? Ha ha ha, as I thought you Majins will never be stronger than us Saiyans, said Vegeta arrogantly to Kid Buu, who was very angry at that moment. Kid Buu said, that's enough, I'll destroy you along with this entire planet, shouted Kid Buu before Vegeta appeared in front of him and kicked him up towards the sky, where Vegeta started to attack Kid Buu from different directions, making the Majins stay in a semi-dead state. But Kid Buu by a miracle managed to get away and create an attack so strong that it would destroy planet Earth and the entire solar system. Vegeta thought, my time with this transformation is already over, so it's time for the final attack. Vegeta thought seeing Kid Buu throwing his attack at Vegeta who gathered a large amount of destruction energy and shot towards Kid Buu doing the attack of Kid Buu being nullified and not only that, Vegeta's attack was so powerful that Kid Buu was erased for all eternity. That was Vegeta's perfect Uzaru Hakai. And after Kid Buu was defeated, Vegeta returned to his human form, extremely tired. Vegeta said, I did my part Kakaroto, now and with you, said the Prince of Saiyans before fainting from exhaustion. Now with Goku, Son Goku vs Akuma Buu. After Goku got separated from Vegeta, Vegeta flew to where Akuma Buu had been sent and the moment he arrived at the place he found Akuma Buu floating around as if waiting for him. Akuma Buu said, you took a while. Look I must admit your punch is stronger than the last time we faced each other so come and show me your new power level son Goku, said Akuma Buu excited to face Goku's new power. After Akuma Buu's speech, Goku quickly advanced towards the Majin who did the same thing 
and the moment they met in the air, the two started an exchange of punches, making the place where they were being destroyed with the power of the attacks of both warriors. But soon Goku manages to punch Akuma Buu, and then Ni Akuma Buu, and then kick, and to complete the teleports, and reappears on top of Akuma Buu, kicking his head, making Akuma Buu be thrown with extreme violence on the ground, making a large crater. Akuma Buu said, You're really stronger than before. Really fun but still not strong enough," said Akuma Buu before disappearing and reappearing in front of Goku, who now has a key spear in his abdomen next to Goku. Akuma Buu fired this power, causing Goku to be thrown a little far away where the key spear exploded. The explosion was so strong that it looked like a nuclear explosion. Goku said, If you think that attack would kill me, better think again, said Goku returning to the fight with his clothes completely torn. Akuma Buu said, I admit you're pretty strong in, but it's a shame you're not strong enough to kill me and avenge your comrades like that god of destruction I killed. What's his name? Ah, I remember. Beerus. <laughs> but don't worry, after I kill you, I'll kill every person left in this world, including your wife and your other son, said Akuma Buu while looking at Goku with a devilish smile that made the Saiyan enter the height of his fury. Goku hearing that everyone on planet Earth would be killed if he was defeated by Devil Fruit made the Saiyan remember all the happy times he had with his friends and family, hearing that they would be killed, making Goku return to his base form. Akuma Buu watching this scene found it strange, but soon Goku's body started to grow and became a gigantic Uzaru that turned white, and after a few seconds, an energy surrounded his gigantic body, and this made Goku stay the size of a human that being the white Uzaru of the prophecy that would kill Akuma Buu. Akuma Buu said, What a gigantic power. This power surpasses that of the God of Destruction. So now I'm going to take it seriously, said Akuma Buu, raising all his power that clashed with Goku's power. Because of the clash of power between Goku and Akuma Buu, both were sent to another dimension. As the clash of powers ended up creating a portal where the two were sucked in, and now Goku and Akuma Buu were in the world of Limbo. This place is where he held the Tournament of Power. In the world of emptiness, even though Goku and Akuma Buu were sent to another dimension, neither of them was caring about that. And soon Akuma Buu wanting to see the power of Goku's transformation, he advanced towards the Saiyan wanting to punch Goku, but Goku wasn't there. Because of Goku's new speed, when moving left, images delayed as it was stopped time. And when Akuma Buu realized it was already too late, the moment the Majin turned around, he received a punch from Goku that made him be thrown away with bloody nose. But Goku didn't let up. By the time Akuma Buu would recover from the attack, Goku was already in front of him, preparing another attack. Because of Goku's gigantic speed, Akuma Buu couldn't even see where the attack was coming from. Akuma Buu himself using all his power, he couldn't even hurt Goku. It was once a fight because now it was a massacre, as Goku was dominated by the aggressiveness of the Ozarus. He just attacked and attacked non-stop. Akuma Buu, seeing that his death was close, gathered all the rest of his power and threw it around in order to hit Goku. He dodged all the attacks while Goku concentrated energy in his hands to make his final attack. After several Akuma Buu's useless attacks, Goku stood in front of Akuma Buu's face, who now had a look of pure fear before feeling his entire body being destroyed by Goku's Kamehameha, thus causing Akuma Buu to be completely defeated. After the final defeat of Akuma Buu, Goku managed to come to his senses, thus returning to his base form and being very exhausted. He fainted and began to fall into that empty world before being held by another being. Daishinkan said, It seems that Lord Goku has again defeated a formidable enemy. Who knew they would solve this alone? But now it's time for us to return to planet Earth, and I think I'll give them the Super Dragon Balls. That's for sure, it's going to help you, said Daishinkan, while holding Goku, and soon he opened a portal to planet Earth. Soon the Daishinkan arrived on planet Earth, where he talked with his son Whis, and soon Daishinkan gave all seven Super Dragon Balls so they could bring all the living beings and planets that Akuma Buu and Kid Buu had destroyed. Whis using the Dragon Balls brought everyone back to life, including Beerus and the Kaioshin back to life. But apart from all that, a small fact happened. It is not known why, but Goku and Vegeta lost their tails preventing both of them from being able to turn to Uzaru again. With that, we end today's video and finally ending this incredible story called Kid Buu's Brother. So if you want to see more stories with this one, 
comment a lot, and don't forget to leave a like. And that's a big hug from us, and goodbye.